Atlanta Motor Speedway is a one and a half mile quad oval. There's 24 degree banking in the turns and five degree banking on the straightaways. All right, Atlanta. On the inside, I believe. Pit road is closed. Fourth round of my 100 mile challenge. I've got some new computer speakers. I'm showing them to you right now. Wow, what a difference they make because uh, the other speakers were like the size of a pack of cigarettes and sounded like tin cups. So this is kind of a sound test. Tell me what you guys think. I hope uh, I had to change everything. I had to change everything. I had to change the screen recorder volume, the in-game settings, everything. I don't, you know, of course, your mileage may vary because of your speakers, but wow, am I hearing, you know, bassy, throaty engines. Oh, you know, it's just, it's awesome. All right, so this is my fourth race with this AI set that I created. I have not changed any settings. We're still on the original settings. As you can see, I qualified 17th here, middle of the pack. Field of 35. Long way to go, 65 laps. The AI is extremely aggressive when they got good tires and flat foot it through the corners on the first few laps. Five to ten laps, maybe. Ooh, I fell away from that uh, front pack just a little bit, holding everybody up. Here comes Tony on the outside. Dale Jarrett and uh, Harry Gant coming right up on my ass. Harry's making a move on the outside. Nope, can't make it hold. Ricky Rudd, power move on the inside. But I'm able to get him down the back stretch. Let's see if I can get down to the apron. Not getting into my corners very well. Oh, Buddy Baker uh, or uh, Benny Parsons, I think that was up in the wall. Tire fall off with the AI is pretty significant. That's when you can start picking positions off. If I can't get, oh, we got Richard Petty uh, almost into the wall there. All right, little separation back to Dale Jarrett now. All right, let's see if we can get the King down the uh, quad here. And uh, Kaylee Yarborough. Ooh, ooh, careful. Sorry about that, King. Uh-oh, that's going to allow Dale to pull on up. He's even going to be able to maybe get me. No, I'm going to take away his line. A little bit of a bottleneck up here with uh, Terry Labonte, Kaylee Albro, and Richard Petty. If I can get past these guys, yeah, let's try it again. All right, there we go. There we go. 
Maybe I can get Terry down the back stretch. King strong on the outside. Dale's gonna try it on the outside now. Jarrett. We finally get past Richard. Ooh, come on, Terry. All right, got Richard. I'm using Gen X's Atlanta setup, version 1.5 as they call it. I believe this is from like season 202. I changed the steering ratio to 14 to 1, and I had to take about 3%, 3 to 5% tape off because it was overheat, even when I was out all by myself. All right, a little bit of a gap back to Richard Petty and uh, Dale Jarrett. I want to get past Terry here. Hopefully coming down the back stretch, maybe even Kaylee Yarborough. Okay, we're going to get Kale, and I'm going to get Terry, too. Oh, Terry! That was me, I guess. I washed out. Now I'm going to get freight train. Clear, 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 clear. Okay. See the line that they're using, they chopped the apex there. Oh, we're really uh, jamming up here. Uh, Alright, going to get Kurt Bush through the quad here. Uh, 10. Richard high up on the wall, causing a mess. Got a bottleneck here. Yeah, see how they chopped the apex right there? And you can get a nose under there coming down. Nowhere to go. I don't think the high side's gonna work. It's going to stay where I'm at. Harry was rather aggressive there. Clear, clear, clear. Boy, uh, Ken Schrader really checked up. All right, tire fall off. We can see that they're strung out in the line now. Outside, outside. Clear high. Got Ken. Gonna get Dale here. The tire fall off for the AI is pretty dramatic. All right, we got Michael Walter and Kale Yarborough up here. See if we can't clear both these cats going down the back stretch. And I'm gonna get Kale. Maybe outside. even Michael. Go right outside. Okay, 
Okay, they're single file nose to tail now. Now side by side again. Outside, outside. There we go. He about chopped it and came down on me. You're going to have to remember that with the AI. All right, clean air for a while. I think uh, Bill Elliott's next one up. Yep. Well, there's some rubbing and banging there for the first few laps. First 15. This uh, Ford Cobra Jet paint that I found that I decided to run today. I guess this is the paint job that's on Ford's electric drag car. And a guy decided to put it on a cup car. All right, Gordon's pitting already. 18 laps under our belt. 31.635. All right, we got Bill Elliott and Alan Kowicki up here. A couple Fords. I guess Bill's uh, in a Chevy. Okay. You gotta get underneath them quick in turn one, because they're gonna chop that apex in turn two. Alright, good run, good run. Get him through the quad maybe, set him up. Yep. Outside, outside. 32, All right, we got Clint Bauer, Boyer, Sterling Marlin up here. Clint's running the decal corn seed car that I'm gonna run in the human to human races here in the cup season this coming up year. Get past one of these cats, it'll be a 10th place. Okay, I'm in 10th now. Do the same thing, set up Clint in the quad. Tried a ugly diamond approach there. That didn't work. Thirty-two point two zero one. Outside. Go out. All right, that was a clean one. Got underneath him. Sterling. All right, fuel just went to yellow. Got about seven laps to go. Who's 
Sladen. Jimmy Johnson with Earnhardt Jr. and Waltrip. One, two, and three. Greg Biffle in the National Guard car there. It looks like Bobby Allison right ahead. Jimmy Johnson, the leader, is pitting. I'm getting to them. Pretty timid uh, entry, but I have a tendency to, I got to slow down a lot sooner than the AI can. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop on the side. Okay, fuel and tires. 20 seconds of repair, I'm not gonna take it. I think you can do about 125 on that half apron there. I really haven't tried to push it too much. Leader for the road. We got about 28 laps on that run there. Could have gone a little further. I'm not going to go flat foot all the way through. Save the tires, save the tires, save the tires. As we cycle through these stops, we'll die in about 10. We'll see what happens uh, as we cycle all the way through. Now back off a little bit. Save the tire, save the tire. Clear him. Okay, and night. Cycle through a night. Okay. Boy, you're coming up like a madman. I'll let him go. Let him go. Inside. Burn your tires up, Clint. Clear low. So I got 28 laps on that first cycle. We're going to try to go a little further next time around here. Since I'm going to take it easy here, these first five laps are better. All right, here comes Michael Waltrip. Let him go, let him go. We'll get him back. We'll get him back. Bill Elliott, always strong at Atlanta.
laps into this run. Some of these guys are only two, three, or four laps in. Probably when I'm about 15 laps in, another seven or so here, is when I'll start to be able to pick them off. Biffle looking inside. Biffle, holy smokes, the Biff. Strong move. Force that nose in there. See, uh, Bill Elliott's kind of fallen off already, believe it or not, a few laps. Okay, here comes Sterling Marlin. He must be on real fresh tires. Okay, back to 12th, just out of the top 10. I think Terry was one of the first to pit. Can't remember. Cuts me off. We've got DW, Daryl Waltrip leading, Jimmy Johnson holding on to second, Earn Hart's in third, Sadler, who was leading? Uh, oh, it was Jimmy, that's right. Earn Hart Sr. has dropped out of the top three. been the rough and tumble one. <laughs> Outside there. I'm gonna get him to the quad though. Clear high. I think. Yep. 31, 26, 0, 1. Sterling. Yeah, they chop that uh, apex and you lose your momentum on the inside. I can set him up in the quad here. Unlike human to human competition. Well, 
That should put me in the 10th, top 10 land. Got a four pack up here that are starting to lose their momentum. Okay, we've caught back up to Bill Elliott. Remember, he passed me like I stand it still. Right, and we got Bert in the back marker here. Right, I'll get these guys through the quad. Michael Waltrip up next. Washed out a little high, got out of the rubber. There you are. Only got about 20 laps to go. 20 laps to go. Yep, gonna have, have to be one more pit stop. I've got 14 laps of fuel. up here in the bullseye barbecue sauce car. I think we saw him smack the wall much early on. Looks like he's smoking a little bit. Maybe that was a shadow. Ooh, Benny. Thank you for not coming down on me. Barely got underneath him there in time. All right. Right ahead is Clint Boyer. Remember, he passed me like I was standing still. I'm going to stay out as long as I can. Oh yeah, coming through uh, two and three without having to pass anybody is sweet. Neil Bonnet, he's a lap down. Nice to see you out here, Neil. Outside. Go outside. Good job, man. Don't change your line. They're going to move. You're clear. Dines a lap down. All right, I'm sitting in seventh currently. Remember, Jimmy Johnson came in real early last time as the leader. Let's see uh, what the leaderboard looks like up front here. B.W. Darrell Waltrip, Jimmy Johnson, and Junior Sadler still one, two, three, four. I'm five seconds behind them leaders. But I'm catching up. Okay, Bobby Allison's my next positional car. Outside, outside. 
Okay, my fuel just went to yellow. Got cars coming on and off the pit road now. That's Kurt Bush. Kurt will be fast and strong. Yep, yep, see, Kurt's got new tires. Goddamn lapper. Ooh. Bodine almost got into Urban. Swerving Urban. Okay, all these guys right up here are lappers. Bobby Allison is still my next position. Five laps to go. Like I said, I'm staying out as long as I can. Oh, this is getting hairy. Tony coming in. Smoke. This is a lot of cars up here. Outside. Hey, Bodine doesn't mean anything to me. Outside. But Bobby up here does. Martin Truex, he's a lap down. I haven't seen him all day. Outside, outside. Four laps to go on fuel. Go, I went to red. One more lap. Not this time, but next time. This is the pit stop. Leader pit road. Those clappers on the way are off. Pretty timid, but safe. Those are looking pretty nice. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop on the side. All right, perfect, perfect. About eight to go when I get back out. Go, Mico, go, Mico. Rusty is in position behind me. Oh, I fucked that up big time. I was worried about Schrader coming in. Okay, it's flat foot time. There's Junior. Terry Labonte is not a position. Yeah, 
He's coming in right now. Elliot Sadler is a position. Five to go. This is going to be uh, quite a show. Ricky Rudd is not a position. Outside. Neither was Labani. Sadler is my next position. And Swerve and Irvin. Well, he just hit it. Rusty Wallace is the next one ahead of uh, Urban. It looks like Sadler got a little loose there. Just a little. And there's Wallace right up there in that pack of uh, lap cars. Bobby like a freight train behind me. Bobby gonna get me on the outside. That looks like they're going to be a sixth place finish here. Boy, the AI is strong on uh, new tires. All right, Ford Cobra Jet, sixth place at Atlanta. I'll take that. Wow. It's actually a pretty good showing for me. Oops, sorry, Bob. You checked up too soon. It was a good fight all day. 12X. <laughs> That's the other thing about AI. You don't have to worry about the X. You can run realistically, do some tapping. Well, if I remember right, I started 17th. Finished sixth there. Things get a little ugly here on pit road as they're looking for their. There's Burton's pit. Yeah. Mine should be right about. There he is. Not a bad run, not a bad run. I hope the sound came Over. out. All right, guys, thanks for coming along for the ride, and we'll see you next time.